Okay, in this lesson, we are going to look at transactions. So when you order pizza, we can commit. So that if you look at here, we have uh, 17 transactions. Then uh, if you um, try to uh, order pizza and then suddenly you change your decision not to complete the transactions, you, after you click OK button, you can still roll back. So there will be uh, no new data in your database. So that's the idea of our transactions. Okay. So let me make a copy of uh, write the record, paste it. So I can keep the original one. Okay, the first step is you need to um, change the auto commit to be false. By default, it is um, true. It means if you use any SQL statements, it will uh, be effective right away after you submit SQL statements. So when you have a time, uh, please read these descriptions. So we are going to use auto commit with uh, commit and then rollback method. So default is true, we change to false. So we will uh, manually control our transaction. Basically saying we should be able to order and then cancel our order as well. We need to use um, prepare statement so you can comment it out. We don't need we don't need that, so let me remove. This one I will comment it so that you can see the difference. I may need to use the same thing, so let me just try to minimize change. Here uh, values we can use a parameter. Transactions, you know, uh, you have to use a parameter. So we're going to insert um, nine parameters using a question mark. They represent uh, a parameter. So we have a nine columns, uh, nine question mark. You can separate with a comma. Yeah, looks like a nine of them. Then we can use a prepare statement. There are method called set int set double. Depends on data type. Of course, before that, you need to uh, submit a prepare statement. So let me just uh, put the comments first. Exact uh, pre compile SQL statement. So instead of using statement, we are using a prepaid statement. Then connection um, prepaid statement, not create statement. And the SQL text, that's correct. Uh, the should be P, should be capitalized, class name is prepaid statement. import. So we are going to use a setter for the parameter. So prepare statement, we have a set int or set double, depends on data type. So number one, parameter index, 
uh, actual value is depends on pizza get type. So let me copy, paste it. So second one is uh, double data type. So set double parameter index is number two. Again, uh, let me copy, maybe up to this point. Pizza quantity is uh, number two here. Let me continue. Number four, again, continue. You can change the data type. Uh, you have to repeat uh, nine times, okay? It seems like I made a mistake one for uh, quantity. I will change to int later on. So continue um, six of them. So we have a three more to go. Quantity again is int. Bring it up. One more to go. Uh, coupon amount should be uh, double, set double. Let me remove next comment, next line. So here we need a new prepaid statement. So I will keep it for, for now. Prepaid statement. Let me just remove it. So prepaid statement, uh, we're going to use exact update. For you, please read uh, exact SQL statement in this prepaid statement object. So most important thing is the next line. Before that, we need to introduce some buttons. Let me introduce two buttons. I will wrap it with uh, it's up. So we have two buttons in it. Uh, I will say 10 paddings. Eventually spacing for 10 as well. Okay, the first button I will say commit. And then uh, BT and commit. In practice, you may use it as a checkout, but I would like to use the same name for simplicity. Rollback, BT and rollback. I'm not using on action here. I'm going to type it. So we have a BTN rollback, BTN commit. So here. Uh, 
a method is belongs to collection object. So PT and commit set on action event handler action events. So we need to uh, implement handle uh, abstract methods. Let me import and implement uh, handle uh, methods. Again, we are going to use a uh, collection object and then commit. Make all changes made since the previous commit to our rollback. Straightforward. Surround by try and catch. Is SQL reception handling okay? Then uh, once we finish, what we need to do is um, we reset auto commit. So we change back to uh, true. Then we can close our collection with the database. Close. Rollback is uh, pretty much the same. So let me remove this and then I will copy commit transactions and yeah, I change my mind. I will, I will just leave it, make it as comments just in case. You, you may like to see the difference between the previous one and current one. So here we we'll say uh, rollback. PT and rollback. Only one thing you need to change, collection and here rollback. You can use a control space bar to bring up the dialog so we can copy up to that point and replace it. Here's the comments. Okay, everything is pretty much the same. That's all. Uh, let's see how it works. Clean and build. One one uh, non okay. Commit. So if you look at here, fifteen reset. Uh, the 17, so we have a 1-1. One, one. Seems like that's exactly what we need. So let me reset. This time, let's see whether we can roll back. We order pizza and drink, but we roll back. We didn't really want to save it. So there is a 17 still there. No, there will be no 18. Let's try again. Commit. See, there is a 19. 18 wasn't there, okay? Because of my scale increase uh, uh, ID. That's why the 18 wasn't there, okay? Was a cancer. Then the new one is 19. Yeah, that was the main idea. Uh, let me change this one to be 0 0.10. Then uh, I will have a look.
Uh, I remember here uh, should be set int. I, I forgot to change. And uh, that's it, I think. Just in case, let me clean and build and run it again. Uh, let me try to do at least one commit and uh, roll back. So here, just pick whatever you want. Two dollars, okay, commit. So we have a uh, number 20, okay. 20 orders. This time, let me reset. And then uh, this time, maybe I order, then I will say no back. So it should be saved, okay. Okay, last one's 20, reset, still 20. That's all, thank you.